Greetings, Southeasters YouTube. It's Aiden here. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to a new video. Today, we are here at the Goodwill. So today is a new episode of Goodwill Hunting, where we go to various Goodwill to see what treasures we can find. And if you guys love thrifting, love thrift hauls, vlogs, and all that fun stuff, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell button for notifications, and don't forget to check out my Instagram and Facebook, It's Hadrian, just to get spelled here. And check out my shop at itshadrian.com to see what we have for sale from my thrifting adventures. But without further ado, let's go into the store and go see what they have. We're here at a Goodwill boutique, so I'm really excited. Let's go in. There's this cute Michael Kors. 30 bucks. Another one for 39. They have like a bunch of fake Louis. This one's torn. I kinda like this one to be honest. This one is $39.99. Oh, the hardware is missing. Whoopsies. There's also this super cute coach right here. This one is $39.99. Like that. Oh, all the bags are falling. Oh, is this another coach? $39.99, that's cute. This is definitely a fake Chanel. Another one right here. Also, oh, Michael Kors, thirty-nine. Coach. They have a GM. It's so cute, but I can't tell. It probably looks a little fake. Oh, it's so cute, though. All right, guys, look at these. These are probably fake Yeezys, but they're still kind of cute. Size 9, and they are 30 bucks. Not bad. Inside this case, there's a couple more things too. They have Roger Venner. Oh, they have these Fendi's little wedges for 40. Oh, these Dewar Oisemans are a sight to behold. And they have these little Gucci's. So cute, too. Be still, my beating heart. What is this? This has to be fake. It's really cool, though. It's 80 bucks. It's so cool, just like decoratively. Oh, they have all these like wood things. They've been carrying these at all the Goodwills recently. Davina Home. I'm looking through the books to see if there's anything exciting that I need. Oh, I'm kind of sad that this book got beat up. I almost bought this. And like the dust jacket got kind of squished. It was like perfect before. How much was it again? Well, let's check. Oh, $5.99 is a good deal for that. Ooh, Museum d'Orsay in Paris. Book on Dolly. The Noble Cat. Alright you guys, I just left the store. I got some amazing stuff that I can't wait to share with you guys. So let's go back to the house and I'll show you guys what I got. Hey guys, okay so we're back at the house and I'm super duper excited to share with you guys what I got. And my hair is looking really big. Um, but I'm super excited to share with you guys what I got from the store. Now this Goodwill Boutique is one of my favorites and I love it so much. They always have like some of the really best items sometimes that uh, I have found at the Goodwill. And though sometimes their prices um, are a little bit astronomical in the sense that it is a thrift store. But, um, I mean it is what it is. <laughs> so, I'm super excited to share with you guys what I got. So, let's start off with... What am I going to start off with? Um, oh, let me start off with this. Now, check this out. This is a super cute coach vintage made in USA 
crossbody bag. So, so, so cute. It's in the black with the brass hardware. Turn lock. Still has the little dongle. This leather is so soft. I don't know what it is about vintage coach bags because I know that they did bring back that like gloved leather that um, coach bags were made of back in the day and for some reason that leather scratches pretty easily um, and this vintage coach bag which I'm sure was made way before I was even born barely has a scratch to it so I don't know what it is I don't know if the cows have changed in the past or just like the way they treated the leather I have no clue but Vintage Coach is really the way to be. I love it so much. And anytime they have like a vintage flap bag, I almost always get it, no matter how much it costs. Um, has the flap, has a pocket on the back, and this, this is going to be for sale up in the shop if anyone's interested. It's Hadrian.com. Um, but yeah, this guy was only $15, which is a steal. Because every time they have Vintage Coach at that store, I feel like they always price it like a lot more. So... Um, don't know why, but it's in great shape. Just needs a little conditioning, maybe a little color refresh, but that's what I love about um, black handbags. Easy to refresh, so this one, I'll be doing that, and it's going to look like a million bucks once I get it all fixed up. <coughs> Excuse me. Still trying to get over this, like, cough thing. I have, like, intermittent coughs super randomly. I don't know what it is. Um, but, yeah, super cute, $15.00 obsessed so I'm very excited that I found that now up next I was so happy to find this bag and Vanessa I'm gonna be messaging you because I know how much you love Rebecca Minkoff and know how much um, we like I'm so happy we both share the same love for Rebecca because she is amazing her handbags are gorgeous and this one is a stunner it has the quilting on it and then it has the gold studs all around so beautiful it has the convertible chain so you can make it crossbody or um, shoulder and then it opens up beautifully just like that to this beautiful leopard print lining it has a zipper pocket card pocket and then two open pockets right there and then just the magnetic flap and it is gorgeous it even has a great big back pocket which i think is really nice stick your cell phone in there keys whatever it's awesome so yeah beautiful Rebecca Minkoff this one is in really great shape too it doesn't even need any work at all to it um, I'm just gonna condition it but it has no like corner wear or anything it's in really great shape so excited about that and this guy was $25 amazing so good so I'm very excited to have this bag in my life it's like such a a beautiful bag now up next I was really excited to find this one too and I whenever I see Tory Burch I always I almost always get it and this one's a great tote it's in this beautiful golden brown which is one of my favorite brown tones for handbags gold hardware and it has like kind of like this ruching kind of gathering on the front and it's also on the back as well and I like how the the corners they kind of like go into themselves like that so it has like this kind of cool kind of bowler-esque type of shape and then if you like fill up the bag all the way up it, the corners open up and then it has a total different look which I also love because I love bags that have more than one like kind of look use purpose so that is perfect. This doesn't have a crossbody, but you can easily attach one. Like attach one right here and then one in the back. And then you can carry this bag crossbody and then it'll be good to go. So this bag is awesome. The interior is in pretty good shape. Just a couple little pen marks in there. It has a zipper pocket and then two open pockets. And this guy was only $15, which is a steal. Um, just needs a little bit of conditioning and cleaning. And I think it's going to be um, ready to go off to a to a new home so excited to find this bag for you guys oh now this one is a gorgeous 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 find I was so excited um you guys know uh lamb 
handbags have been like discontinued for quite some time. Gwen Stefani is kind of just focusing, I think, on clothing and shoes. Um, and I don't know why, because her handbags, I feel like, always did really well. And people that loved her handbags, like, definitely still love them to this day. And it's been um, a couple of years already since they stopped carrying them in department stores and all that. Um, and this one is my favorite print that she did. I believe it's called the Marigold. And it's like coated canvas. It has like the racing stripe down the front and the back. And then it has just like graphic floral prints on it. I don't know if I can put this bag for sale because I just think that this is a stunning bag. I love the contrasting to golden tan um, straps and trim. And even like this gold hardware is like honestly barely has any marks on it at all. It's in such great shape i love her stuff and look at the lining it is amazing that stripe lining has um zipper pocket and then two open pockets inside there as well and it is just gorgeous i love this bag so much and it also has the two little um snap closures on the side so you can actually button them up and then it changes the look of the bag so just like that uh, um, Tory Burch that I just showed you, this bag kind of has like two looks as well for when you carry it. So now it looks like that, which kind of cinches it in a little bit, and it does have a magnetic top right there. So it has like a magnetic closure. So there you go, there's the second look, and this bag is just like a stunner. I don't know if mom's actually gonna, I don't know if mom would like this bag, I'm gonna show it to her. She might have to, she might actually take it from me if she sees it because the print is just really gorgeous and mom loves flowers as you guys well know just as much as I do so um, yeah really excited to have found this bag it's a pleasure to have found a lamb from the marigold collection just because I just love this print so much I think it's just so beautiful and graphic and gorgeous now this one is probably the piece de resistance for today's haul and video and I know a lot of you guys have mis have been messaging me about it and I don't know if I can bear to let this one go um I have just been wanting this bag for so long and to find it like in the GM size like I, I did find it in the MM which mom already has now and this is in the GM Oh my gosh, so it's amazing. It does, this is like the shed of leather, um, the trim, and it's like in fantastic condition, you guys. The interior is great. Doesn't have the pouch or anything, um, but this guy was $40, and I am so obsessed with this bag. Like, I don't know if I can let it go. Um, if I do, I will let you guys definitely know for sure. But this is, like, my first time finding um, a GM in this quality and this condition. So, like, I don't know. I'm always going to be on the lookout, though, for you guys because I know a lot of you guys are interested in one as well. And I've been asking me to find um, more pieces. And don't worry, I have been on the hunt and I have keep it, been keeping my eyes peeled for these things so if I find anything I'll definitely get them and let you guys know but that rounds out my haul for today thank you guys so much for hanging out with me thank you for excusing my hot mess hair it just like has a mind of its own right now but thank you guys so much hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a big thumbs up it helps immensely don't forget to subscribe hit the little bell button for notifications and don't forget to tune in tomorrow for a new video and I'll see you guys tomorrow love you guys immensely and I'll see you then bye Look at all these coffee cup things. Ooh, a cell phone case. Bandolier. This little crossbody bag. Oh, this is from that one. I've been to that little restaurant before. Oh dear. I almost thought they were unicorns. I almost died. This for 